YouTube, it's your boy Jay Less, and I'm back at it with another video. You heard? And I'm kind of tired in this video, guys. I'm sorry if I ain't put some pep in my step, man. I had a long ass day today at work, um, and this work week's gonna be pretty stressful for your boy. So, so bear with your boy. This work week has been stressful. You heard? Um, so today I want to talk about something that's kind of been on my mind and I've talked about with my friends and, and family and stuff in the past is um, is just people's mindsets on certain things so one thing that bugs me and this is something that kind of bugs me at my nine to five um, is the lack of like teamwork or willingness to help your fellow co-worker or, or, and this could be applied to like a friend or like a family member or, or whatever you might be going through or, or your, whatever situation pertains to you. So I'm going to use work as a reference. When I first got hired four years ago at my job that I hold now, um, I was always the type that approached every person the same, you know, like if some guy came to me and was like, yo, Jay Les, man, can you help cover my shift, da 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 I got this, that, and the third going on. I always help them out. Because in my mind, I'm like, okay, well, if I help this person, then it's like paying it forward, right? You know, like paying, paying forward good karma. So when I need time off or I need somebody to cover my shift because of something unfortunate happens, you know, they'll hold me down. You know, and... Not many people in today's day and age really think like that. Like, some people are kind of selfish to the point where, like... Like, for instance, you know, I had a co-worker, and he would ask me to come in early on the weekends so he could go out and, you know, hit these parties on Saturday. You know, because he would ask me to come in at 6.30, you know. Parties don't really get popping until, like, 9.10. I'm not even really in the party popping world I'm assuming that's when it like the peak hours are like 8 9 and 10 so it gave him time to get ready and go out with his girl and his friends and shit like that and really tear up the town you know and anytime I asked this co-worker to, to help me out he always helped me out he was always willing to help me out however I had another co-worker who she asked me to cover you know part of her shift because she had like a taekwondo tournament or some martial arts kind of tournament. I don't I don't I don't even know if that was really the truth. But that's what she said. Um and when I went back and I asked her to cover help cover one of my shifts, she gave me excuse of Oh, I have to watch my dog. To me that's a one, that's a shitty excuse. Like you you better come up with something a little bit more convincing than the Oh, I don't have anyone to watch my dog. Like, I wanted a fucking karate chopper in the fucking throat, bro. Like, that shit was whack. So it's like, what I'm trying, I guess, like, the lesson that was with this video is, like, understand that not everybody's going to have the same mindset as you. In terms of, uh, uh, of how, like, you think, how you interpret Everyone's different, you know, like everybody's made different, you know, so it's like you can't have the same colored sprinkles on your Sunday. That's fucking boring. There's many different colors, you know, sprinkles you can put on your Sunday and mix it up. You know what I'm saying? So it's like for me, instead of just getting mad, right? Like I could have got mad and like talk shit about this girl and stuff like that. But I just kept in my head. I was like, you know what? I'll keep that in the memory bank. So the next time she asks me to do something, I'm not going to do it. And actually, like a couple months later, she asked me to cover her shift. And I, at that time, I was kind of petty. I did tell her that I had, I had no one to watch my dog. Almost as like a, a petty shot of like, hey, bitch, like, fuck you. You know what I mean? Like, and it's just like, yeah, that's childish. I don't, I don't recommend doing that. You know, just make up some other excuse or something like, oh, you know, I have something with my family going on that day or something, you know, something like that. You got a doctor's appointment, you know, whatever you want to use as an excuse. But don't, man, don't, 
don't waste your time. One, don't waste your time stressing over people who don't think in your mindset or have the type of, um, you know, thought process and I guess character that you have. And and then don't be blind. You know, don't be just blindly like allowing it to happen. You know, like people might like somebody a certain way and like they're willing to take that abuse of them never helping them out. And it's just like, no, it's it, everything's a two way street here. Like, you know, if you have somebody who complains like, oh, you never call us, you never stay in touch. Well, how, how, how well did they stay in touch with you? You know, like the phone goes two ways. You know what I mean? Like you could shoot me a text. I could shoot you a text, call, FaceTime, Skype, whatever. You know, like, so, so don't make yourself feel bad as if, like, you didn't do enough to, to please this person, man. Because you're not going to please everybody. You're not going to make everybody happy. Like, I piss off my own mother 85% of the time, you know, because she thinks that, you know, I make, you know, some immature, un, you know, calculated and educated decisions. Now, that's her opinion. She's always going to be my mother and I'm always going to love her, but it's like I have to make my decisions and make my mistakes so I can learn. You know, so it's like, yeah, I took her shift and then when I went back and I asked her, could she cover mine? She said no. Okay, lesson learned. I know now not to help you out because you're not going to be willing to ter return the favor. So it's just one of those things, man, is like just don't be a shithead. You know what I mean? Like, don't not work because of you being selfish. You know what I mean? Like, if you know, like, your coworkers have always held you down and always had your back and stuff like that, or your family and your friends, like, they've always helped you out whenever they could and had your back. Like, don't spit in their face. You know what I mean? Like, don't be a shit bag. You know, like, if someone's genuinely, you know, trying to help you out, you know, trying to, you know, support you and be behind you in something that you're doing, man. Work your ass off and, and, and prove them right, you know? It's just that simple. Like, there is no I in team, man. Like, and if, if you're at your job and you need to work some overtime to help out your coworkers, you know, because of, of, of some reason, just do it. It's one day you're inconvenienced. One. You're not inconvenienced the whole week. You're not inconvenienced, you know, your entire life. It's literally that one day you might have to come in on your off day, stay or come in early four hours or, you know, pull a 12 hour shift because um, there's a band camp that day, you know, like, but people who care are willing to do it. People who care about their job, their work ethic, they care about their job, they care about the person. They care about themselves and how they are portrayed to to other people. Those are the people that are willing to to do those type of things. I don't know, man. Like I, I've seen in our generation or the millennial generation, man. Like very few of us really want to work. You know, everybody's like trying to think of this get rich quick scheme, or everyone wants to be a rapper, everyone wants to be a beat maker, everyone wants to do YouTube. And it's like, you know, me, I do YouTube because I love this shit. You know, if I was able to get $500 a month off YouTube, I would be happy. I would be complacent with that. I would enjoy that. That would be fine. You know, I don't, I, of course I want 100,000 subscribers so I can get the plaque and the million subscribers so I can get the other plaque. Yeah, that would be dope as fuck. You know, and I'm going to try to get grow my channel to get to that point, but I am humble in the situation that I'm currently in. Everybody, man, you need to humble yourself, give yourself a reality check. I don't know, man. I know this is phil philosophical j Les, man. I just got some stuff on my, my mind, man. If you like the video, go ahead and leave a thumbs up. Drop a comment down there, man. I really love when you guys comment so I can reply back to you guys. It's been your boy j Les, and I'm going to catch you guys on the flip side here. Respect your coworkers. Respect it.